Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, I was making bread today, so I thought, let's have pantry pull pizza for supper. home and with the cheese so let's preheat our oven to 307 whoa this is all let's see if I can't save this from the disaster that it looks like there we go oh awesome those are huge grapes can you pass me the pizza pan from beside the stove, dear? Yep. Thank you. I think I knew what I was doing almost. My pizza pan is bent up at one side because this oven isn't as big as my old one, and it, that's how I make it fit. Let's, um, let's see here. Because maybe I can make another one for the freezer. You know what I mean? Um, roll out this other bit. we could do that and I'll just take this dough and slap it into this little cake pan here and then I will cook it and then put it in the fridge for his lunch tomorrow there's many a day he's taken cold pizza leftover cold pizza for lunch all right I gotta get to great and cheese we'll be right back okay so here is our big pizza and our little pizza. And I've got um, a can of pizza sauce. If you don't have pizza sauce, folks, take a small can of tomato paste, water it down just a little bit, and add some Italian seasoning to it. Or even better, if you have dehydrated tomatoes, then mix them with a little bit of hot water and Italian seasoning to the consistency of your desire. But I just happen to have pizza sauce in the pantry. We got celery, we got mushrooms, we got ground beef, which you just saw me do, and we got mozzarella. Now let's get these all sauced up first. always pops now this is the uh, ground beef I can and we're just gonna spread it all over here this is one of the things I love about having canned ground beef you could fr oh I'm gonna show you my hamburger hash one day soon get some over here on daddy's lunch pizza mushrooms oops I shouldn't have poured the water from there I thought I got all the water off of these peppers these are big chunks of peppers so don't you know I would I'm not going to put too many on for the simple reason is they will create a lot of water I'm going to cook these separately I'm going to cook the big one first because there's just no room in my oven can you put this in the freezer here there's just no room in my oven for anything more than that one pizza here that look now I know you don't see any green but we haven't put the celery on yet have we so I dig it out with my hands because I don't uh, want to try and pour it. there'll be 
bound to be water in the bottom of the jar. So look at this. Home can celery. Just gonna shake that all over. I might have to put, I think I'm gonna put my oven up to 475, guys, because this is a pretty wet looking pizza. Mozzarella cheese, father brought home on his way. That was on sale for 488, dear. I would put some Parmesan on here, but we don't have any right now. And that is under a half a pound of cheese. This is going into a 475 degree oven uh, for about 25 minutes. Oh my my, look at that. I'm gonna put Papa's lunch one in and then I'm gonna put the bread in after. This is definitely an eight slice pizza. And we'll let it cool a little bit before we serve it to Papa. You're welcome, darling. I've already had a bite, but we're gonna take and see what, what Papa has to say about a homemade pantry pull pizza. Your pizza, sir. Why, thank you. And I've made a little one for your lunch. Awesome. You'll probably have leftovers of this for your lunch, too. Crazy back up. Back up. Mm. There's no salami or anything on it. It's home. It's the, the ground beef from the freezer and, well, canned. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is the Mrs. Fulfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying if you're making bread... Why not make a pantry pull pizza too? Kill two birds with one stone. Take care, God bless.